Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Magnificent deep divers were out here in the heart of nature. Another glorious day. We got butterflies floating around. I woke up like this all magical and fly. Just, I'm excited. Let's breathe. Woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Raising the frequency. Raising the vibration. Take that, take that, take that. Good ass energy I'm sending you. And there's no place I'd rather be than with the birds, bees, leaves, and trees. Chosen ones, what's up? How you feeling today? Shout out to all the chosen ones, right? And shout out to everyone who's joined the new Ralph Smart Patreon page for all new exclusive content that's going to help you become your greatest version. Click the link down below. Shout out to all the chosen ones. But why oh why the chosen ones find themselves alone or single? We're going to talk about it, deep divers, and we got a whole lot to talk about. I want everyone to hit that like button right now if you support the real. Hit that like button right now if you support the real because this information, this information right here, deep divers, is going to rock you out of your chair and blow your mind and inspire you at the same time, chosen ones. A lot of chosen ones have been writing to me. They're like, Ralph, I find myself alone on the journey. Ralph, I find myself single on the journey. Did that happen to you too? You're a chosen one, right, Ralph? Yes, I am. So can you please make a video on this? Absolutely. The cat down the road is coming to help as well. Deep divers, if you are watching this video, this is your confirmation that the universe chose you and the universe is guiding you to the place of your greatest manifestation today. If you're ready for that, just say thank you. Now, why do chosen ones find themselves alone or single? Let's talk about it, deep divers. A chosen one is anyone who remembers who they really are. A spiritual being having a human experience. Half man, half amazing. And a lot of chosen ones out there are alone right now. A lot of chosen ones out there are single right now. They may not know why. Well, we're going to break it down. Are you ready, deep divers? The birds are. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Hey. So I was born different, deep divers. I realized I was a chosen one from a young age that I was called here for a special mission to help raise the frequency and to help raise the vibration. And along my early journey, I was alone. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> It's okay though. It's okay, right? My higher self said it's okay to be alone. You know why? Because we are never alone unless we abandon ourselves. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You see, why do chosen ones find themselves alone or single? Let's start with alone. The reason why a lot of chosen ones are alone right now is because they didn't come here to fit in they came here to stand out. They are custom made. They don't want to be another brick in the wall. They don't want to be part of the sheep herd. They're wolves. They follow their own instincts. They've got a mind of their own. They don't want to be programmed in the main. They don't want to be programmed by the mainstream or in the matrix. They don't want to follow the trends. They are pioneers. They are unique. And I realized I was alone a lot along my early journey because I'm a non-conformist. I don't want to conform to the status quo. I don't want to conform to society. I want to do a little samba, baby, and some cartwheels with a cat down the road. Can I live? Can I do that, deep divers? Why do chosen ones find themselves alone? Because deep down they know that they are here for self-mastery. There's a reason why, deep divers, when you take a look at all the prophets, the teachers, the gurus, you always see them alone. Buddha, Krishna, Jesus Christ. You find them alone going into the wilderness, finding out who they really are. You see, being alone is a prerequisite to finding out who you really are. So many people are like, I never want to be alone. A lot of chosen ones know that actually we are never alone. And I knew this. 
I've always had people gravitating towards me since I was like one years old, right? <laughs> All throughout my life, people just want to be around me. But I had my intuition saying, Ralph, just go into the wilderness, go to the forest, spend time alone, spend time with yourself. A lot of chosen ones are into spending time with themselves and a lot of chosen ones don't actually feel alone because they know that being alone is an illusion. We are never alone unless we abandon ourselves. They know that everything is connected, but they choose to spend time alone to reconnect with who they really are, to take off the mask, to peel away the layers that society has cast upon them. Why? do chosen ones find themselves alone? Many chosen ones are here on a journey of self-discovery. Being alone is okay. They realize this. I realize it's okay to be alone. You know why? Because I would rather be alone than follow a crowd going in the wrong direction. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I'm good. I'm good, deep divers. I don't want to be part of a crowd that's heading for a cliff. I don't want to be a part of a crowd that's lost. A lot of chosen ones know that society is lost. They know that so many people are programmed in the matrix and they don't want no part of that. They want to be free. And in a world which is constantly trying to mold you like Plato, they're opting out of that and they're spending time with themselves. That's why chosen ones find themselves alone. Many chosen ones realize that actually the hive mind is a trap. Group think is a trap. When everyone is thinking the same, it's a trap. And the only way to be authentic is to find out who you really are. And that means you have to embrace the power, the power of being alone. Many chosen ones are wise and they realize there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Being alone is where you reconnect with your uniqueness within the whole. Being lonely is where you are cut off from the whole. So many chosen ones, and when I was spending time alone, I was still connected to the whole because I realized everything is connected, but I had to honor my uniqueness. Nobody is me. And that's my power. Why do chosen ones find themselves alone or single, right? Single. Now, many chosen ones find themselves single because they don't want to conform to the dating rules and regulations of mainstream society. You got to dress a certain way. You got to look a certain way. You got to talk a certain way. You got to wear a mask and be someone else. Ain't nobody got time for that. I just want to be me. And many chosen ones find themselves single because a lot of people in society can't handle the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Chosen ones are going to tell it like it is. They're going to tell you how they really feel about you. A lot of people aren't ready for that. They're not ready for the realness of the chosen ones. And this is the reason why a lot of chosen ones find themselves single because they're too real. They're too real for school. They're always about lifting up humanity, talking about how we can get a better world. And in today's modern dating culture, relationship culture, a lot of people, they're not really thinking that high. It's just surface relationships in the matrix. Well, many chosen ones want something deeper, something more intimate. They want to make love to your mind before they make love to your body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
why the chosen ones find themselves alone or single. So many chosen ones find themselves single because they are working on themselves. Do you know how many people, deep divers, hop into a relationship and spread so much negative energy to their partner? You know why? Because they haven't done the inner work. Chosen ones are taking time to do the inner work. So when they meet their soulmate, their twin flame, they're going to have so much good energy to pour on them, to give to them. That sweet loving, oh, it's going to be amazing. But right now, it is time to work on myself. Right now, it's time to work on myself. Many chosen ones are single, not because they're ugly. Matter of fact, they're beautiful, handsome, all of that. But they don't want to be in a relationship just for the sake of, well, being in a relationship. Do you know how many people who are like, I'm afraid to be alone. I gotta hook up with someone, even though I don't even like them. Not chosen ones. Chosen ones refuse to settle for mediocrity. In all areas of their life, that was me along my early journey. I'm like, I don't wanna be with someone when I'm settling, when I know I can get gold, diamond, platinum. I don't want to settle for a half ass relationship just to say I'm in a relationship. It's got to flow. Many chosen ones aren't into forcing things. They're into making everything flow in a beautiful way. Woo! Why do chosen ones find themselves alone or single? Many chosen ones find themselves single simply because a lot of people are fake, plain and simple. A lot of people are not who they claim to be. Many chosen ones can pick this up. They've got intuition. Energy never lies. And they know that in this society, so many people are living through a fake ass persona. And they're like, ah, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Many chosen ones are selective. Why do chosen ones find themselves alone or single? Because they are selective with whom they share their energy with. Along my early journey, once again, had so many people always inviting me to parties and so many people who were, who were like, Ralph, I want you to be my king. I'm like, ah, oh, well, I gotta be picky here. Chosen ones are picky. You know why? Because our energy is precious. And the one who we're going to share our energy with is going to be truly worthy of it. We're only going to give it to those who are truly worthy of it, who are truly going to appreciate it. You don't throw pearls at swine. Why do chosen ones find themselves alone or single? Many chosen ones know that life is all about waiting, being patient. The universe doesn't make mistakes. I realized this along my early journey. I was alone, I was single, but I said, that's cool. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. You know why? Because I know the universe is cooking up something real good for Ralph Smart. Ooh! and it's arrived. Oh yeah, oh yeah, deep divers. When I was spending time alone a lot in the heart of nature, I was cultivating the strength to inspire millions. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Now I got a whole community of people, amazing souls. That's you, deep divers all around the world who are woo, breathing in that grass prana, baby. I could only find who I, I could only find who I truly was by spending time with myself. We're in a world where a lot of people, they don't want to spend time with themselves. They don't want to get to know who they really are. So they have all kinds of problems. They're depressed, they're anxious because they're running away from who they really are. I had to face myself in the desert, in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights with a cat down the road by my side. It was a beautiful, amazing, soul expansive experience. I came out totally different and transformed. 
And many chosen ones find themselves alone or single because they are going through the metamorphosis, the inner transformation to become the diamond, to become the gold, to become the gemstones. We have to remind ourselves that chosen ones, if you find yourself alone right now or single, you made that choice. Because the truth is, you know that you're not alone and you're definitely not single. It's just that once again, you're patient because you're trusting the timing of your life. You don't want to fake relationship. You don't want to fake friendship. You don't want to settle for mediocre. You want what is truly meant for you. And that's the reason why a lot of chosen ones, they're so cool and calm, just chilling by the bench chilling on the bench by themselves or going hiking by themselves or taking a stroll along the beach by themselves or just saying, hey, I'm not dating right now. I'm working on myself. And people are like, hey, you must be really lonely. They're like, no, nah, I'm good. You know why? Because they know the universe has a plan for them. They know that the universe's timing is the best timing. And they know that the universe will send the right ones at the right time. Why do chosen ones find themselves alone or single? Many chosen ones realize that we're in a world where so many people have such a hard time living up, living up to other people's expectations, their demands, do this, do that. And chosen ones just want to be free. They don't care about what you think of them. And that's amazing. And many people in a group or a crowd, they're only there because they're externalizing their value. Chosen ones are internalizing their value. They, they are accepting who they really are. They are loving who they really are. They don't want to change for you. They don't want to bend over. And if that means they've got to be alone, that's cool. I would rather you hate me for who I am, then love me for who I am not, right? Don't hate me at all, deep divers. I'm a deep diver. Look, <laughs> so this is the reason why chosen ones find themselves alone or single, because once again, they're working on themselves. They're raising the frequency. They are really aware of the energy. You see, not all energy is good energy. Just because you're with a pretty face or handsome face, it doesn't mean you've won in life. Sometimes that can, that can be your biggest curse. And chosen ones are able to see through people. So they're not so quick just to jump into someone's bed. They would rather protect their energy. And this is the reason why a lot of chosen ones find themselves alone or single because they are self-disciplined. But at the same time, chosen ones aren't boring. They know that the family is going to come. Generational wealth is going to come. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It's already here. And that's why I'm just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Hey, beautiful deep divers. Let's breathe. Woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I want everyone to hit that like button right now if you support the real. Once again, smash that like button right now if you support the real. Share this video. Subscribe. Okay. And make sure you join the new Ralph Smart Patreon page for all new exclusive content that's gonna help you become your greatest version. And for videos which are way too spicy for YouTube, click the link down below and check out the number one best-selling book, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book, the Bible of becoming your greatest version and Feel Alive Part 2 is coming out deep divers. You're going to love it. Check out the latest new book, The Book of 1111 Infinite Quotes. The Book of 1111 Infinite Quotes by Ralph Smart at ralphsmart.com slash the book. The secret recipe to becoming your greatest version and go and get the good ass prana shirts, deep divers for men, women, children, even cats down the road at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you're a sexy ass model, woo! With a whole lot of heart, you want to model the clothing? Well, go and buy some. And if you want a one-to-one -one consultation with Ralph Smart so I can help you become your greatest version, make sure you head to the website, ralphsmart.com slash consultations and book your session. Deep Divers, we are never alone. 
unless we abandon ourselves. Chosen ones know this. When they are alone, they're actually tuning in, they're tapping in, they're finding out who they really are. When they are single, they are preparing themselves to get, to get into the position to offer someone so much goodness, wealth, health, good loving. They are working on themselves to be someone else's upgrade. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. One, love deep divers. Peace, infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You! Once again, deep divers, hit that like button right now if you support the real. Share this video, subscribe. Once again, hit that like button right now if you support the real. Share this video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of gratitude and appreciation. And let me know if you're a chosen one and you find yourself alone or single right now, let me know how it is for you on your journey. And let me know how this video inspired you. One love, peace.